guys. How you doing? Carlos here from uh, Yugi Dojo here. Got a, a guest video poster here for you guys. His name is RC from Team Nice Guy. Um, he was uh, willing enough to, to create this video exclusively just for us here. So he's going to be talking about his uh, Gladiator Beasts um, builds and what cards to put in. What You'll see the video. But the way this happened was couple of videos ago I think I had mentioned something about uh, oppression uh, working with gladiator beast and if you happen to see the video now I actually made a mistake uh, with what I said with the oppression I corrected that in the video with a pop-up on the side here telling you the way it was really supposed to be and the person that actually got me in that information was RC from uh, team nice guy here so uh, what I did was I said listen you need to create a video just for us here and uh, we have now a, a guest video, uh, I guess you want to say, poster here. So go check him out. Go subscribe to his channel there. Like I said, Team Nice Guy. And uh, enjoy the video. Hello, YouTube. This is RC of Team Nice Guy. I'm doing a video swap with Yugi Dojo. Carlos of Yugi Dojo, uh, Dojo asked me to do this Gladiator Beast tutorial video for his channel in order to publicize my channel in return he can put a video on team nice guys channel um i'm just here to talk to you about my favorite deck of all time gladiator beasts it's always been a deck that i've held very close to my heart i've been playing it for two years it's not my main deck because i have quick draw and sabers but i'm just here to talk about how i think the deck has changed how it's evolved and how i think people can improve how they play the deck. First topic is Gladiator Beast Sand Knight. This card is still very good in the deck. It's a very good dry Gladiator Beast special summon whenever it's early game. Because if you're playing three Book of Moon, which you should, or at least two, it's easy to run over a monster with this thing. So you can plus one off of this and get your War Chariot, and then start controlling your opponent even more. Next topic is Equist versus Darius. Equist is much more important than Darius. Hands down, no matter what your argument is, I will shoot it down. Because Equist can cycle monsters and your chariots. When Darius, it special summons your monsters, but it can only cycle monsters. You should always play more Equist than you do Darius. Or you can play them in even numbers. You can play two of each. I play two Equist, one Darius. Because if Darius gets bottomless, I don't care as much. You just can't use the Prisma Test Tiger combo into Geyseris. That's all there is to it. With Equist, you can lock your opponent down with Chariot a lot more consistently. And if it gets bottomless, you have another one. Next topic, which isn't really a problem, is Elemental Hero Prisma. My beef with it is, it's overused. Like, I still play one because it's an amazing card and we still have Cold Wave and we can go to Geyseris really quickly with this and Test Tiger. But people overuse it. I don't care if you play two copies of this, I just think it gets a little clunky in your hand and it doesn't provide any advantage by itself. It only provides advantage with Test Tiger. And the real reason why I'm bringing this up is to segue into the next topic. Um, people still are running these in their Gladiator Beast decks. Right off the bat, I'm going to say these cards are awful in the Gladiator Beast deck. Rhoda is a little bit better, but Stratos is absolutely awful. Stratos, it's a plus one, it's an amazing card... But in Gladiator Beasts, it's summoned and it gets the plus one, but then what's it going to do? I'd much rather have a Laquari or just any other Gladiator Beast in play, aside from Secator, obviously. Because then I can generate advantage from future tag-ins and such. Whenever Stratos just provides immediate advantage, and that's it. Then it waits to die. Rhoda... It's not that great because Prisma is not essential to win the game anymore. And it's basically just playing another copy of Prisma. 
it thins the deck out a little bit more, but it's not that good because we don't play Summoner Monk either anymore. So it can't count as that spell card. It's basically another monster card, and you don't want a fistful of monsters during the game. Then we have the War Chariot debate. Playing any less than three copies of this card, in my opinion, is foolish. I consider this card a win condition of the deck. People play two because they play two Equists. They're thinking, oh, well, I play two Equists, so I can cycle through this thing. But if you don't draw it, how are you going to cycle through it? Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible to draw one of your two copies, but playing three ensures that you're going to see it. And playing a Sam Knight also gives you that much more advantage into drawing into this thing, or searching into this thing, and locking your opponent down with it. Um, that's all I really have to say. Like I said, like I said before, I don't really have too much with people playing the deck. It's more of their choices on what is going into the deck. Gladiator Beasts are very versatile, and they can play numerous tech cards, and it won't matter. Like, you can play Gores in Gladiators, you can play Cyber Dragon in Gladiators, you can play Thunder King in Gladiators, you can play Effect Veiler, you can play DD Crow, any, like, tech card, you name it, and you can put it in Gladiator Beasts. They're so flexible, and they're just an amazing deck, and have been for a while. Those are just the little things that I have to say about deck building in Gladiator Beasts and consistency and such. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there will be a link to the Team Nice Guy channel in the description of this video. And just go there and subscribe if you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about the Gladiator Beast deck, stay tuned. Because we might, and Team Nice Guy might start doing deck tutorial videos like this as just another part of Team Nice Guy's numerous segments. And this is RC of Team Nice Guy, signing out.